This is an Navy Nation special. My name is Tim Albright. That young man right there uh, is Matt D. Scott. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Tim. How are you? I am well. I am well. Awesome. Uh, it's been a minute. Of, well, it has been a minute. It's been a minute. Uh, I would give you a hug, uh, but I think the Canadian government would probably fine both of us for that. Yeah, totally. Uh, I'd go into well, lockdown you know, again. You, They'd shut you, the whole well, country down Parts again. of you are. Parts of Canada, Canada it, are in parts of It America. does depend, yeah. yeah. It does. It's um, so through the magic of Magic Mitchell, um, Matt, Matt and I can be on the same stage. Um, yes, thank you, Magic Mitchell. We're doing Mitchell. the Aviation Nation uh, Reader's Choice Awards uh, today, or announcing mm -hmm. those. Um, I have this list in my hand. Matt has a list in I his hand. I got one, hand. too. He does. He I does. do. Uh, and that, there's nothing on the back, so you can't, you can't sneak. I, I can barely make out the front, and this, these are typed. I really need a pair of your grandma glasses, because I did not print this big enough at all. <laughs> that, that's what happens when you hit a solid 45. Um, so, <sighs> Okay, grandma. All right. Um, so here's what we're doing. Uh, there are tons of really great uh, categories here. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to read off the, the folks that, that were up for it, right? Uh, yep. Matt or I, either one, will announce you know, the, the winner of each uh, one. Uh, and we might comment on some, we might not on other. We'll just move along. We'll try to get in and out in under three or four hours. Uh, kind of like the Grammys, right? Yeah, it'll be awesome. We, but we're able to do it. We didn't have to postpone because of COVID no. in L.A. Yes. Even though they're playing football games. I mean, the Rams are in the Super Bowl, so that's not a real football team. All i got to say, Joe Burrow is, I'm pulling for Joey B. I, I'm pulling for any team that plays against the Rams. All right. Um, best virtual right. event. Best, this was a, a category that, that obviously has come to fruition the last couple of years with, through COVID. Uh, the two that we're up against on the finals, um, A.V. Happy Hour, our, our good yep. friend, uh, Mr. 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 Neto. Uh, Mr. Chris Neto. Neto. Yep. Uh, creator of, of the, uh, the A.V. and the A.M. on Sunday morning, but also mm -hmm. the A.V. Happy Hour. Versus uh, A.V. Meets Food, Mr. Scott. And oh, we should have brought a drum roll, but we, we, yeah. Mitchell, can Mitchell you add a drum roll? Uh, in the best virtual event, the winner is A.V. Meets Food uh, from the Avixa Diversity Council. And, yes. and Frank uh, and, and the whole team over there. Uh, some highlights of that, if you weren't able to attend it, um, mm -hmm. uh, has a, a couple folks, uh, Joey Lloyd from Avixa making latkes, yep. uh, which I have still yet to have a latka. I don't um, know what that is. It's I'm a sure potato it was cake. Wonderful. Oh, it's a potato cake. Okay. It, it's it's she, it was, it was during December. It was for mm -hmm. Hanukkah. Uh, Jen Steinhardt, uh, I believe, made a, made a cake. Uh, a number of other folks. Nice. Uh, uh, v. Uh, did, did some of her fantastic food as well. So awesome. Uh, but congratulations to the Diversity Council and, and Frank and everybody at Bixa. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Tim, uh, why don't you present best digital signage, my friend? All right, best digital signage, uh, LG Super Sign uh, versus Bright Sign. Uh, and our friends at the Purple Boxes uh, win uh, this year's award. Uh, that, of course, is the, is the folks at Bright Sign. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. And, you know, again, being agnostic is... Might might have played a little bit of a role in there, but uh, both great great products and, and a great great winner there. Uh, best projection technology. This one is is kind of um, um, kind of a, a squishy category. We kind of get, gave folks the, the opportunity squishy. to. Well, it, it is right. So you, you're like, okay, <laughs> projection. Okay, so so Project what is it? Projectors right? are squishy. That's the word that some comes to my mind. Some folks named projectors outright. Some folks named projection companies outright. Mm -hmm. Whatever. I, we're kind of okay. Right. All right. So um, Epson, really great, you know, um, 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 projection line. And then the folks at, at NEC, uh, Sharp. Yes, yes. Uh, in this category for best squishy, I can't even say that with straight face. Uh, sorry, Tim, I was trying, to, I was trying to leave you one there. Best projector, we'll say brand. I think that's a, okay. a safer thing. Between NEC and Epson, the winner goes to, pretty close actually, uh, Epson won out on this one. So congratulations to the the team over at Epson. Uh, I yep. know my, my company uses these both in, in the commercial and the residential space. A great line of products. I, I, I say that we didn't, I didn't vote in anything. I don't vote in this. I, I, to, I, to I influence, didn't vote in this influence one. Influence anything. Uh, I, but Epson does have a, a, a number of line of, of different ones and, and yeah. they're, they're, they're getting more and more into projection mapping. So yeah, mm -hmm. certainly. Yeah, huge, huge thing. Uh, Tim, why don't you talk to us about the best UCC? And to, to our friend Bradford, Bradford Ben, you must define UCC first. Unified communication and and I'm letting you do it. Collaboration. Come on, dude. This this is a collaborative. <laughs> anyhow, uh, the two the two the two that you think are going to be in the final. Those are the two that are in the final. 
You've got Zoom on one side, and you've got Microsoft Teams in the other. Google I'm not Hangouts sure didn't make it again? Oh, man. No. <sighs> no. I was pulling for um, Google. <laughs> I know you were. <laughs> but it's a horrible platform, and I'm it's sorry. Terrible. But it's a it's horrible platform. Terrible. Um, our friends at Future use use Google Meet, and it's it's a horrible platform. Still? Um, yes, still. Okay. I don't know. It must be a British thing. It's a Good British for company. you. Good for you. So, very close, very, very close. Uh, but mm -hmm. in, the, in the end, uh, the same team that owns Blizzard now, Microsoft oh. Teams, uh, wins this year's uh, UCC um, so, uh, award. So this one was incredibly close. Like we're incredibly talking, close. And, and honestly, 24 quite surprising votes. a little bit, right? I, I'm I mean, shocked. We use Teams, right? That, that's what we use primarily yeah. for, for our collaboration at Aviation and, and CTI. Mm -hmm. I understand the ubiquitousness of it, but Zoom had a running start here. Massive start. I, Massive. I, I, I do wonder if this is a, whether this is a corporate push or whether this is a, an educational push. And mm. I, I, don't, I don't know who's, which one is leading in either one of those verticals, but I have a, I, I, I'm feeling that one is, is leading in dramatically in one of those verticals, and that's what pushed this over the top. Because I yeah. would have, I would have bet money uh, that it was that it was Zoom. So I very would, surprising, yeah, very, very surprising. So. All right, Matt, uh, why don't you do the best AV accessory? Uh, best an interesting AV category we, we threw in a couple of years ago. All right, in the category for best AV accessory, you have the Extron IPL EXP PDU 4H. Uh, that is a controllable power supply up against the Shure MV7, which is their USB podcast mic. Uh, really cool yep. mic. In this category, uh, again, this is more than surprising to me. Extron dramatically won out uh, over the, the, the Shure product in uh, like a two to one, or sorry, a three to one uh, percentage there. That's a really big deal. This is, I, I'm, I'm going to attribute this to, you know, again, the, I, being in podcasting, have a lot of friends in podcasting, <laughs> so yep. we talk a lot of podcasting gear, hence uh, the, the Sure MV7 is, is forefront of my mind, uh, but from our community as a whole with, with integrators, I, I totally understand um, why that Extron power supply would, would win out. Control's a big deal. It's still it's my favorite part deal. of AV. Control? That's so kind of you, to love control to the very end. All right, Timothy, All right. the best microphone technology uh one of my favorite categories of all time always Spe speaking yes. of microphones yes um both of these both of these are, are what i could con you would you would you would categorize the, categorize these as uh conference conferencing microphones yep uh by amp parley all right uh by amp a number of years ago started uh releasing these and developing these or the sure mxa series uh sure obviously came out with this a um, number of, of, of uh, microphone uh, elements in uh, over 100 uh, microphone elements in a, in a, a two by two square. Yep. Uh, and the winner for this year, uh, second year actually in a row, is the Shure MXA uh, series. Not really a, a huge surprise there. It's an incredibly popular no. product and, and Shure has, has done well with that. It, not only have they done well with it, it has become, I would argue, probably the, the ubiquitous uh, ceiling array across the board. And it has, and, and launched a number of, of lawsuits as, as well. Well, so. I, I, w I wasn't going to make it that obvious. I was going to say they've been in the news a lot. <laughs> they have been in the news a lot because it's launched a number a of, of lawsuits. That's that are still going on, by the way. We should we should mention. Yeah. Um, <laughs> best speaker technology, Mr. Scott. There. All right. In best speaker technology, we have the Extron SF two twenty eight T plus versus the JBL LCT eight one C slash T, not overly surprising that Extron product won out big again as well. Uh, I thought I'd be surprised by this, but I'm, I'm really not. This is one of those ones that I just kind of, I looked at it and went, yeah, I kind of feel like that's going to win out. There, um, such as, a an old huge... as an old technology manager, we put in a lot of these. Uh, that's what the I'm year, saying. So, yeah. We're, we're definitely seeing a trend in, uh, in U, not UC, sorry, in education, um, influencing yeah, totally. this a lot. Those those tech managers, you know who I'm talking about. You got you got the tech managers. You've got the AV users, uh, the AV users group. You've got the folks yep. at Hetma. You've got um, the the in-house integrators. You've got all these folks that they're they're doing these in, in every day, all day, every day. Um, yep. All right. Uh, 
Best AV Distribution Technology. Uh, this was an interesting one. Um, the Audinate Dante, right? So Dante, mm -hmm. typically, you started off at, at audio only. Last couple of years, I want to say it was... I want to say it was ISC 2020, last time you and I physically saw each other in person. That is um, true. Is when, they, is when Dante launched into, into video. Mm -hmm. um, versus the Extron DTP Crosspoint, this is more of a, uh, a traditional um, AV over, over uh, network cable type, type solution. Yeah. Um, and the winner for 2021 is the Extron DTP Crosspoint uh, switcher. Yeah. And again, very close, very close. Very close, yeah. Very, very close. Um, I, again, I'm th this one does surprise me a, a little bit again, but yeah, Extron's just been killing it in that in that space. They've been doing yep. a very good job. Lots yep, of adoption. Absolutely. All right, let's talk the best AV over IP. Uh, this is going to show Extron and AV up against QSCs and V, and the winner of this one, keeping with the trend, <laughs> is Extron. N-A-V. Stop laugh laughing, Grandma. Grandma Alba over there. Um, well, it's, it's, so the, the way, think about this. So Extron Nav, uh, they, they, were, they were not the, the, certainly not the first um, AV over IP no. solution. Um, they, it, it took a minute to come out, but when the, once they did, they had a couple of high-profile um, you know, installations that is going to mm -hmm. come on. What was interesting to me about this entire process, and I understand that this is a, a multi-tiered uh, voting system oh, yeah. where you've got you know, we brackets, do four rounds, right? correct? Four rounds? Yeah. Four rounds. Yeah. Uh, three rounds. Three or, rounds, yeah. sorry. Three rounds. Um, is, is QSC coming on, on top over a couple of others that are more uh, stalwarts in, in this space? Right. I thought that was interesting. Well, and again, QSC has made such a huge push into that space. Uh, it, it's no surprise that they were in the final round and that they did, did quite well in that. Um, but again, I'm, I've got to give kudos to, to the Extron team because... They've, they've done a really good job, as reflected yeah. in our voting. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. All right. Uh, best mounting technology. Uh, this one was, uh, the, this last round, uh, I should say, was not not particularly close. It was Chief versus Premier Mounts, and, and our friends mm -hmm. over at Legrand and, and Chief have won, uh, once again, uh, for this year and for this technology. So. I, I want to give kudos to, to Premier Mounts for uh, making it to this round, because they're not necessarily uh, the brand that you think of top of mind when, yep. you, when you think about mounts. And for them to make it to the, to the final round, that, that's fantastic. And they put on a really good showing up against Chief, yep. who, you know, yep, again, has been, been around for a long time. All right, best tech support. Um, yeah, tech support's a, a tough one because tech support's tough. All right, in this category, we are throwing Extron up against Audinate. And, you know, again, uh, what, what probably isn't going to surprise anyone is this is going to go to Extron again as well. So congratulations uh, to that, that tech support team over at Extron. Uh, I know that all the manufacturers, they, they do put a lot of work into trying to provide really good quality tech support. And, uh, you know, this is shown and, and recognizing Extron's team for, for being the top at it. Well, what, what's interesting is, is the Extron uh, S3 support versus Audinate here is almost mm -hmm. the same thing as the AV distribution when we had Dante, which is Audinate, <laughs> right? So that, that's kind yes. of interesting. I don't know. It's the way my brain works. All right, uh, best AV project. All right, this is a big uh, one. <laughs> so, is it not a big one? It's, it's a, a big, big one. one. It's, it's a, big a one. huge one. Now, first of all, it's the, it's the first year we've done a project, okay? Right. This is our first year we've ever awarded a project. Yeah, it's a, it, yeah. And, you know, Every, I, I think it's a really good addition, and I'd like yeah. to see I'd like to see the project category kind of expand, because it's easy to kind of pick your favorites when it comes to um, to, to products and to tech, but to go in and hopefully hopefully all of our, our viewers and voters and readers took the time to actually you know look at more than just a, an eight by ten glossy of both of these projects, but. I'm gonna I'm gonna hazard a guess that you know we've got a lot of techie people that are voting in this who are going to dig into see what they're doing in these projects because it is groundbreaking it is really really cool stuff that they're that they're trying to achieve in both of these and and through the whole rounds of voting. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so our our two finalists here, um, our friend over at USC, uh, Joe Way and his team, US Hybrid USC Hybrid Classroom mm -hmm. Upgrade, or 
Aaron Peterson, and the Iowa State University Stark Performance Center. Yeah, huge, huge. Now I do want a drum roll. So, Mr. Scott. Drum roll, please. <clears throat> Winning the best AV project of the year in the AV Nation's AV Awards goes to USC for their hybrid classroom upgrade. Congratulations to Mr. Way. And, of course, I would be remiss if we did not single out the hero of heroes of this project. It's Joe's Joe. It's Joe's Joe. Totally raised the bar of ensuring that Mr. Joe Way and his team were able to complete this properly. So congratulations to It's Joe's Joe, Joe Way, and, and the whole team there, as well as congratulations to, to the Iowa State team. That project was just as beautiful, looked great, uh, fantastic work for, for everyone who submitted a project for that. So again, congratulations to It's Joe's Joe. <laughs> for any complaints, it's at, at Matt D. Scott on Twitter, Matt D. Scott on, on Twitter. Please send them to me. Uh, that's the <laughs> education. Um, this one almost didn't seem fair, but we'll, we'll go ahead and, and, you know. So you've got AVIT, right? Our friends over at Future, yes. they do a really great job. Uh, we, we partner with them at AV Nation uh, for a number of virtual events. Mm-hmm. Um, so they've got a, a, an in-person event, AVIT Summit. It's really great. Or a Vixa. <laughs> And, I am Vixas, not announcing this, just, just so I, we're clear. I know, but it's I'm a Vixa, not which is the, the Industry Association, and they've got all sorts of, we got freaking Chuck Espinosa for crying out loud, right? Yeah, yeah. So, the winner of this year's Best AV Education, uh, obviously for the, um, for the second year in a row, uh, honestly, is, of course, a Vixa, uh, and, and our, you know, our buddies over there, uh, not just Chuck, but also the great uh, volunteers that, that oh, know, yeah. volunteer their time and their efforts uh, to do the education, uh, both in person and online. So, well, and, and I think that's that, that's such a important part to to highlight. Is yes, Chuck and his team do a fantastic job at it, but without all of the volunteers and all the people that work on curriculum development and help, heck, fact check, all of that that coursework and and just the entire breadth of education. Yeah. I I haven't worked with the the Avixa team on education, but I have done it from the CDA side, and. It is a oh, it is it's, a it's massive mountain, and the volunteer say, <laughs> what was that? I said it was much, but it's much better at Ivixa. So wow. Uh, either way, it's the volunteers that, that that put this you know that really help make this go. Uh, again, not taking anything away from Chuck, but I, I know he'd agree with me that the volunteers really uh, help make this such a great uh, educational program. So congratulations to Ivixa, to to Chuck, and the the whole team there, and again all the volunteers. Yeah, just, Thanks for and, trying and to throw I'm me under the bus joking. there. I, I love my friends at, at, at CD. They're fantastic. <sighs> Killing me, man. Except for Whitaker. He's, he's, he's a little bit weird. All right. Well, yeah. Uh, That's a, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> final one. Final one. This is the one that I got more texts and questions and threats about uh, over the last <laughs> month or so. Who um, threatened you? <laughs> Does his name start with J and end with an E? No, it was Neto. Um, anyhow. Neto. Uh, yeah, interesting. It's it's a Jersey thing. I don't know. Um, yeah. The AV the professional of the year. So first of all, mm-hmm. we've had some some women in the industry get nominated in the past. We've had some women in the we industry have. make it through the the rounds in the past. This is the first time in the the six yep. seven years we've been doing this that it is two women in the AV industry that are finalists. So that's pretty cool, right? It's huge, massive, it's huge. Yep. Um, both of them are members of HETMA. Uh, the Higher Education Technology Managers Association. So both of them are, are they work and breathe in, in the in the AV space, in the in the mm-hmm. higher ed space. They're both uh, AV uh, tech managers. Um, first and foremost, Erin Mayer Moran. Erin um, is from Johns Hopkins. She is a control programmer extraordinaire. Um, this is not saying much, but she's a better AV programmer than than I will ever be. Uh, but I know I said w- way to way to get her a great bar. I shut up. She's a better <laughs> AV programmer than you. How about that? I would have given her that right off the bat. I've okay. given most programmers that. <laughs> and then I'm a pretty face. Then you you yeah, anyhow. <laughs> uh, and then you've got uh, Lex Peters from USC and the USC team. Mm-hmm. Obviously, they've already won one award, right? Yeah. Uh, with with their their project. Uh, but Lex is an incredible um, um, a content creator. She's a, a great uh, mentor there, uh, and she's also she's one really half good of f- it's Joe's Joe. Yeah, she's really good friends with It's Joe's Joe, which yeah. 
That's a big stinking deal right there. Well, and it's apparently better than Joe Way. Understandably. Okay. Yeah. All right. Are you ready? I, I am ready. Are you ready? One or two. three, <laughs> two, one. The one. winner of, of this year's uh, AV Nation AV Professional of the Year is Lex, Lex Peters. Peters. From USD. So congratulations. Uh, congratulations, Lex. Mm -hmm. uh, congratulations uh, to everybody. Uh, who yeah. won? Um, just so I've said this, and, and for full transparency, there are a number of folks on here that are sponsors, uh, underwriters of AV Nation. Extron is one of them, cheap, uh, and the folks at Legrand is, is another one. Um, so uh, Avix is not, um, and so I had to make sure that anybody else that I'm thinking of, technically Joe Way is is not, um, but um, maybe sure he should is, be uh, as well. <laughs> yes, uh, he should be. He totally should. He be. should be. Totally should be. Hetma should so. be. Now I. And again, to that point, uh, that's one of the reasons that uh, you know myself, you, we don't, we don't promote people, we mm -hmm. don't promote products it, through no. this process, right? Um, the process. It's no, it's not. There's two O's, not an A. So yeah, it, it, it's great. Again, we we love to see all the votes coming in and all of the engagement. Uh, it's fantastic across the board. Again, primarily uh, based out of the U.S., but we had representation from Canada, U.K., Ireland, India, and a, a host of other locations. The yep. uh, Anything else in the demographics that, that you found surprising so, as I'm uh, looking through them real quick? The youth of, of the demographic. The um, youths of today, the, the 18 so to 30 range, as, which as I used to be a is, part of. As someone who is closer <laughs> to 50 now um, than, than you are, first of all, um, oh yeah, but closer to fifty than 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 <laughs> I than I was a couple of years ago. Uh, I find it encouraging, right? Uh, Very much so. That that eighteen to forty year old demo uh, is is the biggest um, is the biggest percentage we've got. Yeah, it, that that was, and it's not even close, really. Yeah, no. So it, it is fantastic to see um, the the. I don't want to say the younger people. That sounds terrible because I'm not that old. Uh, thank you. You could have, that was your opportunity to say, no, you're not, Matt. You look great. You totally don't look 45. Oh, you look great. You look oh, great. Goodness gracious. This is what I work with. This is also the year Matt turns 40, so. No, it's not. Not, well, no. In, nope. In, nope. No, dang it. In nope. another two years. Never mind. Yep. Yeah, you got time, buddy. Are we'll you going to be 50? Are, are you going to be 50 before I'm 40? No, no. You'll be pretty close. Because I'm nine years older than you. So you'll hit 40 mm. and then I'll hit 50. Yeah, you'll still be 50. I think that's, I think that's right. Anyhow, math is not my strong suit. Anyhow, go ahead. <laughs> uh, again, I, it's just incredibly encouraging to me uh, as, as someone who came into the industry really young and, and worked through that at a time when, you know, again, it, there wasn't such a promotion of younger people in the, in, the, in the industry. It is very encouraging to me to see how engaged uh, the, the new generation is and, and how active they've become and, and, and what a proactive role they've taken in the, yep. in the industry. It, it's fantastic. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. All right, uh, Mr. Scott, thank you. It's good yes, to see you uh, finally, see you. Uh, even though it's thank virtual. Um, how do yeah, people connect it's... with you or, or Omega if they want? Uh, you can find me on uh, Twitter at Matt D. Scott. That's where Joe Way will be sending me hate mail. Um, you can connect with uh, me at AV Nation. Uh, I also host the residential show, Re uh, Resi Week for AV Nation. You can also visit my personal company if you if you're so desire, uh, OmegaAudioVideo.com. But definitely just reach out over Twitter or LinkedIn or Instagram or, you know, not TikTok TikTok because I'm not. I am mean, obviously way too old for that. Uh, but, yeah. Timothy? You, you, call, you, you called it Tic Tac. That's funny. <laughs> All right. For, for me, for AV, uh, don't follow me uh, on the Twitters because uh, I'm still complaining about the Bears uh, head coach uh, um, hiring. Um, but, hey, at least I'm not a Cowboys fan. He's a uh, high yes. school coach, right? It, it, it was high fine. You know, it, it's fine. Interesting. It, it, he can't do worse than the last guy. Um, and, yes, that, that is a challenge, by the way. 
go by the website, avianation.tv. That's avianation.tv. You'll find this program and a host of others, including Matt's uh, weekly show. We both kind of do something on a weekly basis. Mm -hmm. He does the residential side. I do the commercial side of the industry. Um, uh, so check those out on a weekly basis, plus a, an entire uh, line of monthlies that look at, at looks at everything from XR to programming to marketing to higher education. So all of that and more at avianation.tv. That's avianation.tv. Thanks so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching this Aviation uh, AV Awards 2021 special.